everybody. I need to talk about Joan Justice. Now, actually, I need to talk about Joy Ann Reed, which, you know, everybody loves these days. Now, two hours ago, she posted on Twitter, uh, let's see, fun fact, Jim Justice sold his coal mines to Russians for $600 million in 2012, recently bought them back for $5 million. True. And here's the thing, when all this stuff about Russia started coming up, I said, you know, nobody seems to be interested in, you know, Jim Justice's business ties with, you know, uh, Russian companies. Don't care whatsoever. Not one bit. Even called into the Tom Hartman show, you know, uh, you know, it's a double standard. If there's something with Russia, then you need to investigate everybody that has that connection, not just the president. You know, if there's corruption somewhere, we need to inv investigate corruption, no matter what party, no matter what your title is. So, I'm like, you know, what about this? Is, you know, could somebody take a look at it? I mean, there's, there's just as much evidence for that than there is against Trump. Nobody, nobody cared. But now, all of a sudden, he's a Republican and Joanne Reed can talk shit about him. I mean, this is exactly what they do. This is old information. This information has been out there. She didn't care about that when he was a Democrat. She didn't care about that when, uh, you know, she didn't care about you know all the taxes he didn't pay. You know, all the stuff that he's done, just disgusting. Everybody gave him the pass because he was a Democrat, but now he's switching back to Republican, and and now it's a big deal. It's okay when you're a Democrat and you do those things, but if you're a Republican, shame on you. Now, this is something that I've been bringing up, and it's not necessarily that I think that he's, like, conspired with Putin or anything. But, you know, he's a shady guy. He's, you know, best friends with Trump and all this, and... You know, they're all, I mean, they're all shady. All politicians, you know? I'm just trying to call them out on this double standard because if you're going to do this to Republicans, then you best be scrutinizing the Democrats. Because I don't want corruption of any form at all in our politics. But you got shills like Joanne Reed that, you know, they, they keep, you know, silent until, you know, it's okay. It's okay now that he's a Republican. And I don't, I don't respect anybody like that. If you see it, no matter where it's at, you have to call that out. Democrat, Republican, third party, whatever it is. You know? But th these are facts that were out there, but they just weren't important enough until he was a Republican. So I, I just have no use for people like that. And he was been, he's been a Republican. He Okay. It's the same thing that the Democrats suffer from. You know, it's just a name. It's just a label. He's been a Republican all this time. You know, and he, after, I think it was right after he bought those mines back, that, you know, he switched to Democrat, and all of a sudden, he's just this folksy, I care about people. Now, it has been, I don't know, maybe 80 years or something like that since we've had a, Demo or a Republican governor, which is probably why he ran under Democrat. And, and so now, I mean, he, he did the same thing with taxes, right? I mean, he said, oh, I'm not going to raise taxes, I'm not going to raise taxes. What's the first thing he did when he got in office? Start talking about raising taxes. I mean, he's a liar through and through. He'll say whatever you want to hear to get elected. So why? Why would he want to get elected? I don't know. Maybe it's because of all the tax cuts he's given himself and subsidies and this, that, and the other. I mean, he's making money hand over fist right now, so... You tell me. I mean, he keeps telling us that, you know, oh, I don't want a thing for myself. I don't want a thing for myself. Well, then why do you have to keep assuring people of that? Shouldn't your actions, like, speak for themselves? I mean, like, all of the selfless acts that he does, you know, supposedly? But, no. Why? I mean, why do you have to keep... Okay, if somebody was... We kept saying, oh, dude, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I swear to God, dude, I'm not gay. Not gay. But then they still try to, like get in the shower with you. You know, it's like, that's kind of gay. Okay, well, I mean, it's like you're protesting a little too loudly here. I don't want anything for myself. I don't want anything for myself. Except for these tax cuts and subsidies and kickbacks to my bankster friends. So, it's the same damn thing. I mean, anybody that thinks in Republican, Democrat, you know, party line, 
you're wrong. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. And I, I was just like that, you know, just a few years ago. I thought Democrats were good guys, Republicans were bad guys, but that's just not the world we live in today. It's just corporations, you know? And uh, the more money you have, the more corrupt you are. Sorry. That's, I mean, there's no such thing as a compassionate billionaire because in order to be a billionaire, you have to wring money from the poorest people. So, yeah, that's all I got on that one. Thanks for listening.